Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Wade here. I'm making this video to show you guys how to upgrade your iPhone or iPod Touch to the brand new 4.0 firmware. Um, I really do like this upgrade a lot, guys. I'm not going to lie. I mean, truly, it's quite amazing. I really do enjoy the multitasking. Um, the, let's see here, the little utilities box. I call it the app box. I renamed it. It's pretty handy. I really do like that a lot. Um, just the overall feel of the OS is amazing. I mean, it runs so much faster. Yes, <laughs> it's quite amazing. But anyway, guys, I mean, if you really do want to have this on your device, I do want to tell you a few things first. There is no unlock for this firmware yet. Neither is there an unlock for 3.1.3. So if you are an unlocked user. Um, still waiting for uh, an unlock for 3.1.3. Um, your best bet would be to go ahead and upgrade to 4.0 because I seriously, seriously doubt there will ever be an unlock for 3.1.3. But that's just my opinion. Um, you can do as you wish. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, there is no jailbreak for the iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 3rd generation, and iPod Touch 2nd generation MC model for 4.0 yet, okay? So if you do care about your jailbreak that much and you do not want to upgrade, I understand completely. I'm just saying it's definitely worth the upgrade if you're not jailbroken. But if you are jailbroken, it's not worth it. Keep your jailbreak, guys. It's tr it's amazing, but it's not worth losing your jailbreak, trust me. But for those of you who do want to have this on your device, just follow along. This is a very simple tutorial. Alrighty, now what I need you to do first is download the 4.0 firmware I will have down there in the video description. Remember, this is the actual 4.0 firmware that will be released by Apple. This is not the beta versions or whatever like that. This is 4.0 GM or Golden Master, whatever you want to call it. This is the actual firmware. Um, after you download that for your selected device, um, you're going to need to download the brand new iTunes 9.2. You can get that from Apple or if you want to get a very easy way. You can open up iTunes, go to Help, and go to um, Check for Updates, and it will tell you that you need to update to iTunes 9.2. Sorry about that, I'll do it again. <laughs> help, Check for Updates. Alright, I'm going to prove to you that I am on iTunes 9.2. Right there, 9.2, and we're all set to go. Alright, so after you have your firmware downloaded and you're on iTunes 9.2 and you restarted your computer, you're all set. Alright, first of all, you're going to plug in your device by USB to your computer. doesn't matter what firmware you're on. Just plug it in. Um, let it um, sync and whatever like that. Make sure that it is backed up. Right there, I am plugged in. iPod Touch 4.0. Yep, got that. Now we're going to click the Check for Update button, but at the same time, we're going to click the shift button, okay? So, shift and check for update. Alrighty, now once this little box pops up, you're going to have to browse for your 4.0 firmware, which should be in your downloads or on your desktop, depending on um, where you downloaded it to. Mine is in my downloads folder. So I'm going to select iPod Touch 3rd Generation 4.0. Restore. I'm going to open that up. Your um, device will start to restore automatically. Um, it's going to ask you if you want to upgrade um, to iOS 4.0. Just say yes, and you'll be all set, guys. Um, and it'll be over soon. You'll have 4.0 on your device, and you'll be all set and having a ball with it. Because honestly, it is really nice. There's like, so much more features installed on this than what I've showed you. Truly, a lot of new features. It really is amazing. This is Corey 231 Hope you like this. Um, please give me a thumbs up down there if you do enjoy 4.0. I hope you do. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.